So today we wanted to share with you, we're going to go for a ride. 15 miles long, no. 188 turns. Yeah, you see that? You see that sign? Need I say more? <laughs> So today we wanted to share with you, we're going to go for a ride and we are going on a road that is a road that is 15 miles long. It is <laughs> 15 miles long, no. 188 turns. And this map here, which we'll show you, has all of the roads in basically the Northwest. They have how many maps for Oregon? They have four for Oregon, two for Idaho, and one for Washington. And they're all motorcycle related rides. So he has them color coded. He's got the red on the map are for awesome paved scenic motorcycle routes. Mm -hmm. And then he's got blue on the map, which are awesome unpaved motorcycle routes. Yes, and it's called ComeRideWithUs.net is where you can find him on the internet. They have a Facebook page. He's called the Map Man at ComeRideWithUs.net. There is 50, 60 roads that we could take. Yeah. You know, and if we had an adventure bike, there'd be 100 roads that we could take. So today we're going down Highway 4, uh, 2, 245 or 244. I think it's 245. 245. Mm -hmm. 245 is the Little Dragon, and then we're going to come back on Highway 26 and then Highway 7 back over here to Phillips Lake yes. is where we're at. We're going to stop in a town called Sumter. There, they're supposed to be, is an old boom, gold boom mining town back from the 1860s. They're supposed to be a gold dredge machine Big. because they dredged the Powder River. So we're going to stop there because, why? because we were told by somebody that they have showers there. <laughs> There's showers, little pay fee, pay fee showers, so. So we're loaded up for taking a shower at the end of this ride, which would be kind of yep. nice. There you go, so we're taking this route. We're gonna go from here, that campground, all the way around through Austin Junction and then back. And then up to Sumpner. And if we have time, which we I know we won't, but granted is supposed to So this is two forty five. This is the fifteen mile hundred and eighty eight curve road, correct? Correct. Are we gonna count them? No, I'm not gonna count. No, I'm not counting on curves. <laughs> Be like I only counted hundred and eighty two. Well, on the map it had 175 and then they crossed it off and wrote 188. So somebody did come through here and count them. Well, I wonder, like, this is a curve. See what I mean? Yeah. This is one. I don't know. I mean, that's what I'd say. Yeah, what, did, what type of curve did they count? Yeah, what, does a, what, what qualifies as a curve? <laughs> <laughs> I guess anything that's not straight. Okay, so now we want to 
to go to Austin. 26, so we want to turn around. No, no, we want to no, stay here. No, this is it? No. Oh. This takes us to John Day, right? Uh-oh. Oh, wow. I see an old building. Oh, I do too. Think we can get to it? I don't know, it's going down. A car? What? No, no. Sorry. Clear. Shit. I'm sorry. I thought I saw a car. There's a car. Well, it was further back. I would have said something like, you know. Like, don't go. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, this is that spring. There's a spring up here. Want to go down this road for a minute? Absolutely. Is it dirt? Uh huh. Oakhorn Springs is 10 miles down this road. I didn't see anything, any warning signs. What, that you're going to fall off a cliff? No, that it, that it, you know, four by four only. Oh, did they do that? Do they put warning signs in four by four only? Um, Sometimes, sometimes they do. (laughs) I Um, can be smart enough to not do this. (laughs) (laughs) Is that the deal? Yeah. Yeah, well, so far this road's even better than uh, 100, 100 on yes. The Grand Mesa. Yes. There's an RV down there. Is there? Yeah, there's a big big trailer, so it ain't that bad. You can get a trailer back here. I can get a, I can get a Harley Davidson back here. <laughs> so I let Richard get up here just a little bit ahead of me just so it wasn't so dusty. All right, another really unique place to eat lunch. (laughs) That most people on road bikes don't go for. Okay, that was an awesome place to have lunch. (laughs) Yeah, so we peeled off down a dirt road, very well maintained dirt road, I may say. Yes. Until we felt like it was just getting kind of crazy that we didn't want to tear up our tires anymore. We were trying to make it to Elkhorn Springs. Yes. Because... Elkhorn Springs is what it says. And it said it was 10 miles, but. And we don't even know what Elkhorn Springs is. We don't, even though my heart says go that way. <laughs> but this way has lots of trees, a lot more trees in the road. That's why we're turning around. This way is where we came. And it's not in bad shape at all. Little washboards in a few places, but not bad. Yeah. To the straight across from this road is the dredge. Yeah, you see that? You see that sign? Need I say more? (laughs) Sounds so mean. Okay, let me try that again. We're going to shower together. (laughs) Oh, that is cute. Ring the bell. Planning a return visit. Sumter Valley Dredge State Heritage Area. You read that up the sign, didn't you? Yeah, I did right over there. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. We got a train going. Oh, yeah, check it out. What are we going to see? What is this? What is this thing? This is a gold dredge. They dredge the river here in this area of Oregon, and they use that contraption behind us to dredge for gold. So it's pretty cool. If you look closely, 
there is hand hammered um, joints and couplings and tie rods and stuff. Yes. That were hand beaten back in Richard is 18, 1883. 1860. 1860 something? Yeah. Yeah. Richard's fascinated with not only how this thing operated, but also how they built it. The workmanship that is in this oh, thing yeah. is phenomenal. Hand riveted. Every one of those beams are hand riveted. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's super cool. Yeah. And he wanted to crawl all over it like a little boy. Unfortunately, they have they the have, doors blocked off. They have stairways blocked off. You yeah. can't get up to the you top. You can't, can't get up to the different levels. But you can still walk through it and you can still see a lot and you can see how it operated. See the brakes, see the brakes of the pulleys and all that stuff. You see how it's operating. Yeah. How the, the sleuth is, how they used the sleuth. That was pretty cool. Yep. All right. We left Sumpner behind. We made our way over to Granite. And Granite was once considered a prosperous gold town, but now it's a, actually almost a ghost town. In fact, at one point, the population went down to one person. Now it's gone up to maybe about 40, make their home in Granite. The original schoolhouse was built in 1888, later converted into City Hall, and now they're using it as a museum. All right, anyone need to use the restroom? Oh, it's a two-seater. You could, husband and wife, sit there and chit-chat. You could never get away from her. <laughs> Sorry. The cemetery was really cool. It was on top of a little hill. There was all kinds of uh, wooden gravestones. And we are going on a road that part of the, part of our ride is a road that is 15 miles long. Is with, it 15 or 13? It's 15 miles long with 15? a hunt. Sorry, I didn't think it was 15. I thought it was 13. Okay, it is <laughs> 15 miles long, no. 188 turns. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> 